yo how's it going everybody welcome back to another video on my channel today i have all the prices in anime defenders now what does this mean boys this means that i will give you the best price possible that you yourself can buy it or you can obviously find somebody who will sell it for you for that much now this will help numerous of people like if you're wondering for example if you're in a trade and you have to quickly decide what to do like you know like he's he's like okay if you add you know the pro gamer and then the chance king i will give you the cursed knight you know and in your head you might be like that's a deal that's a steal but guys but you never know you know you might get scammed you might get the worst deal or you might be overpaying and maybe you can milk it a little bit more so with that being said boys boom right there on the screen we have the b tier now this is the worst of the worst right so this is the cheapest possible like shinies and uh and units that you can possibly get okay so first we've got warrior queen now warrior queen right now is approximately 3,000 gems or approximately 42 reroll shards now that's pretty cheap you know donut warrior is approximately 2500 and approximately 35 reroll shards now this is pretty crazy guys now these two are obviously the non shinies and they're honestly pretty cheap i expected them to be more but they're probably going to grow as the updates grow so you know just letting you guys know that these are not the final price they're definitely going to rise or lower depending on when the next update releases now listen guys if you want to know how to get this value sheet uh, it's a really nice dude you know he invited me to uh see all of these prices that they made themselves and if you want to join their discord it's going to be down in the description below so make sure you check them out and uh, make sure you join their discord because they always update this and you know if you're always struggling tr uh, trading or if you keep getting scammed this is the best way how to not get scammed i'm going to be completely honest with you guys this is probably the best way to not get scammed so let's just get on it man let's just keep going so you see you have curse fighter right here a thousand like emerald 900 all of these you know they're okay nobody's gonna really buy them nobody really wants to buy them but let's go right over here a tier now the a tier is obviously the more expensive ones uh you know the the ones that people mostly trade off and uh are actually getting right now so you have donut warrior approximately thirty six thousand gems or 520 reroll shards you have flame dragon god going for thirty one thousand or 442 reroll shards which is pretty cool but as you see guys right here a uh, trend is declining and demand is an eight so obviously that just means that you know if you're going to buy it you have to understand that it's probably going to go down it's probably going to go lower and so you may not want to get it right now and you may want to wait until it's cheaper for you to be actually able to get it for quite literally cheap right here we have elf hero curse king and king skull paladin you have thunder god and unstable esper all of them going from 20k to 36k which is not bad you know guys that's not bad you know that's pretty good now over here we also have meta slow mid you know we have all of the things that make them you know why are they so you know expensive why people want to have them you know this is pretty much why guys so you know just read that real quick and let's go back to the b tiers real quick and you guys can read that as well so as you see guys some is just because of the cosmetic i mean sometimes when the cosmetic is really cool people want to get it no matter how much it costs because they have the gems to do so so just letting you guys know right here as you can see that is how much it's going for and next up guys we have the shinies s tier okay this this is probably where the secrets are going to be so as you see right here the cursed knight if you were to buy them legit is going to be costing 240k guys okay so 240,000 gems or 3420 reroll shards now this does depend on the on the seller and of course you know some sellers are going to sell it for more than what it is so make sure you guys don't get scammed make sure you try to go for 240 or below that would be probably the best option for you now it says to be to be added but to be quite honest with you guys it's rising right here the trend is rising and on demand is 10 because it's just what it is guys uh, the pro gamer is a uh, 10 demand in rising because again it's one of the most popular units ever so of course they're gonna you know make them rise in demand because people really want them now chance king is one of the low lowest popular ones and in my opinion it's overrated so nine of course and stable because you know it's still a secret so very hard to get so people really want them now let's talk about the 
big ones the big ones obviously curse knight shiny to be added and to be added because not many people are selling curse knight shiny and if they are it's not worth selling right now they would rather wait until it becomes way more popular so of course you can't even afford it you can't even trade it yet so it's not going to work boys so this is why it's like that okay guys so uh don't worry about that though it will be added later like i said you can join the discord and find that out the bear king is honestly the second best uh, as it should be and approximately 400,000 gems or 5,710 reroll shards now the demand is low because bear king is honestly not very popular and i don't see why they added that unit pretty trash to be quite honest and it's really hard to get to begin with so it's just not worth it unstable because of course people are you know mismatching trying to decide if it's worth it or not but you know it's it's just a different problem and then obviously the pro gamer and chess king are overpriced and then guys finally but not least we have the items now the items you see is trade crystals at 70 gems one rero shard and 10 demand you know one of the most wanted things because of course you have to get better trades you have to get the unit to good standards and for that to happen you need to get the best trade in the game so of course you're gonna get trade crystals over here and is stable at high value so next up is stars all colors 100 stars rainbow 500 which is pretty worth it to be honest because if you think about it if you find a challenge and you do the challenge for the free rainbow you basically got either free 500 gems if you don't need a rainbow or you have a rainbow to trade later pretty cool pretty nice pretty good to know now next up is dices dices is 250 frostbind is 200 everything here is pretty cheap but if you have a bunch of them it kind of adds up and at some point you're gonna be pretty rich because of it this also has a dps tier list uh you have flame dragon god all the way on top you have thunder hokage a second which is pretty impressive i did not know that and so on and so on now the reason the two best units are obviously at the bottom is because they're full aoe so fair enough of course you're gonna have to understand that but pretty much this is what you have right here so guys that is the whole video for you guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you go down below and leave a like and subscribe it would help me a lot more than it helps you again this video was a pretty good one honestly i'm really glad that i didn't have to do this myself because i was still going to do this regardless so i'm really happy that uh they were managed to reach out to me and give me the opportunity to make a video on this but i hope this helped you out i hope you didn't get scammed and i hope in the future you will think twice before trusting a random stranger and with that being said i'll see you guys on the next one stay safe and peace out man